episode 881, Why Aren't You Looking at Me? It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. It is Friday. It's confession day, and you made it through your week. You should give yourself a huge hug. Yes, self-love is so important. And you know what? Sometimes just getting through the week is the only thing we can do. So my hat's off to you today on Confession Day. We're talking about why aren't you looking at me? It's going to be a fun one. For those of you who are brand new to Create Your Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, it is confession day, and as much as I like to just kind of lay it on the line, we're going to do that today, but we're going to do it with a story regarding my children. Oh, yes, the confessions of an upset mama, except I'm not really necessarily upset. This was just something that was pointed out to me, things that we miss in our day-to-day lives, things that we take for granted. It's all about the foundation. I've been mentioning a lot about foundation because our lives are built either on sand, or we're choosing to build them on a foundation. We choose to have habits. We choose things to make a difference in our lives so we can live, love, and then go out and impact. Because you have a circle of influence. The people that you touch, you touch them and I don't reach them. But what you learn here, or what you learn in your job, or what you learn from your family, those are experiences. And you take those experiences and you pass them on. Well, this week we had one of our um, adopted daughters. Now we say that she's not truly an adopted daughter, but we call her that. She's my daughter's college friend, and she's from China. And normally on the summer time, she takes about however long it is, two and a half months or so, and she goes home to China, and then she comes back. Well, Elena this time decided that she was only going to stay for about a month, and then she was going to come back. She needed to do things. This was her senior year, and she needed to be back here in the U.S. So long story short, she came back, and she wanted to come visit her U.S. family. That's us. Yay, we love it. So she came over, and we were chatting. We were, you know, catching up, and all of a sudden, my daughter was like, you know what? And she just started talking. But she was talking, looking at me, yet she was actually directing everything to Elena. But Elena didn't know because she wasn't looking at her. And after the quick little few sentences that she rambled off, Elena looked at her and said, why aren't you looking at me? Why aren't you, you know, when you talk, why aren't you paying attention to me? And she was concerned. And we just giggled and we laughed and we were like, this is so going to be an episode. And it is an episode today because we forget how important communication is. We are so stuck behind our electronics. We forget the importance of eye-to-eye contact. We forget the importance of touch. We forget the importance of looking at the person, being present in someone's life. We just kind of go about our lives. We don't even want to think about it. Why? Because we're used to just answering now in a text message. When you are at work, whatever your job requires, even if you're a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home moms, you're buying things online, so you're working, you're the CEO of your family. Whatever your job title is, how do you communicate majority of the time? Think about that question. Because I really, truly believe that when we stop long enough to think about it, we are not having conversations anymore face-to-face. Most of our conversations are done via email or via texting. How do you communicate with your husband while he's at work? Unless if there's an emergency, you probably maybe just send a text. Maybe you don't even communicate at all. But where is that communication? Why aren't you looking at me? You see, there's something about our eyes. There's a connection there. God gave us every part of our bodies for a reason. I know that may sound a little strange, but it is very important that we think about that. And we need to think about how as mothers, how as fathers, we are giving our, whether you want to call it commands, requests, how we discipline 
our communication. However, we are delivering the information, the knowledge, the experience to our children is vitally important to their growing up. And then it extends out further because it's vitally important to our relationships. If you're only communicating via text to your husband majority of the time, I mean, think about it. How often are you having a face-to-face conversation with your husband? One-on-one. I'm not saying letting the kids be involved because our kids, we do our best. All of us are at home this summer. It is awesome. It's I absolutely love it. But there is that challenge because we try to make it to where we can at least have one meal out of the day together. It doesn't always happen because I'll have children who are working later hours, and so it's a hit and miss. But when we do come together as a unit, okay, the kids are kind of talking and and we're intermingling with them and exchanging words and sentences, but I'm talking about the one-on-one with your husband. When do you actually have a one-on-one? Is it only in the morning? And are you really looking at him in the morning? Or are you doing your makeup or getting ready and it's looking and directed? towards something else. There's something about eye-to-eye contact, looking at the people. And I'm telling you, we are missing that in our world today. Facebook is great. Facebook Live is great, but you know what? It records. You can watch it later. YouTube is great. You can do live. It records. You can watch it later. But what's about the be present part? I think back to Jesus walking here on earth And how when he traveled from town to town, no, he didn't have a vehicle. They would borrow a donkey once in a while. But regardless of how he was, you know, transporting himself from one town to the next, there were always interruptions in his life. But those interruptions, he faced them head on, eye to eye. There was no texting. I wonder if Jesus was to come back right now during this time, how he would do things differently. Would he have a phone? Would he really use texting? Well, sometimes I think common sense would say, yes, he would use the technology. He gave us that gift for us to think about that. I mean, it is pretty awesome to think of how our technology has exploded, how we have further advanced in science, everything. It is awesome. And and please understand that I am not saying you shouldn't have a cell phone. Oh, I am so not saying that. Because technology is giving us the opportunity to hear each other around the world. I mean, what's so awesome that I can talk to you, not just through a recording, but we can set up a Skype call. And we can do a face-to-face. I can do a coaching call with you And you could be on the other side of the world. I mean, that is amazing. But now, what happened to this be present part? What happened to why aren't you looking at me? Do I matter? You see, when we're not looking at someone, we're giving them the impression that I don't fall high on your priority list. Is that what you're telling your children? Is that what you're telling your husband? Is that what you're telling your wife? I'm not high on your priority list. I don't need to look at you. You can just see the top of my head, the little, you know, halo that's attempting to point out because my roots are growing and I haven't, you know, got them, you know, died yet. It hasn't been my five or six week time frame. So you can just look at that, those little white um, specks there, all those sparkles, but you can't see my eyes. I don't really want you to know what I'm thinking or feeling. Why aren't you looking at me? Why aren't you? It's a tough question. And it's one that I really want you to wrap yourself around. Because when you're not looking at someone, honestly, what are you hiding? Whoa. Yeah, it is confession day. What are you hiding? What are you afraid of? There's nothing more unsettling, honestly, than having a relationship with someone that you don't feel like you can trust. That's not fun at all. Why aren't you looking at me? Do you not trust me? Am I not good enough? You got to think about it from the perspective of the person you're speaking to. Now, obviously, if you're talking to them on the phone, that's a different story. You can't look at them eye to eye. 
But what kills me is when you have families that come together in the living room. Now, hey, I've been there. The story I'm telling, we have done this. And everybody's on electronics. And no one's looking or no one's having their own conversation. And my child will send me a text on my phone, which I get it on anything I have, my tablet, my phone, whatever. It just lights up all over the place. And I'm sitting there going, really? And so I address them. I'm like, ah, oh, you're not going to ask me. I'm right here. Come and ask me. Why are we allowing ourselves to hide behind the advancements of this world, but forgetting the most important thing? Relationships. Why aren't you looking at me? Do you love me? Am I worthy of your attention? That's what the other person is saying when they ask that question. Whether that other person is a child or a spouse or a best friend or a mom or a dad. Why aren't you looking at me? So with this being confession day, I really want you to pull back your own covers. This is not about pointing fingers because I know it's already gone through your head. Well, my husband does this. My child does this. Nope. It's not about pointing fingers. Remember, when you point one finger, how many do you have pointing back at yourself? I know I'm getting kind of real and raw here with you, but it's important that we have these conversations. I love summertime. Some families don't get along well with summer. Why? Because the kids are all around. They're like, can we just go back to school? Because I don't know what else to do with them. And my thing is, is bring on the conversation. Bring on the conversations. And that is the kiss, the keep it simple strategy. When you have those conversations with your eyes wide open, do you know what happens? You go deeper in your relationship. If you haven't had the opportunity to listen to my Strength is My Story episode 880 with Dr. Meg Meeker, you need to go listen to that episode. That was just yesterday. It is an incredible episode. And it's where we talk about her brand new book, Hero, Being the Strong Father Your Children Need. And it's not just about the children and the dad. What you can learn from that, from a woman's perspective, is gold. In fact, I would raise it to platinum. Is diamond. There is no reason why everyone should not have that book. And if you haven't listened to that conversation, it was in-depth. You will be surprised and amazed by some of her answers. But it was riveting. And yeah, it may shake up your world a little bit. Just like bring the conversations, eyes wide open, we'll do the same for you. You got to start talking, looking at each other in the eyes, feeling somebody else's emotions, understanding that they're real. It's not just 140 characters. How can you say you love me with only a little bit of time or of characters? You can't. You know, I do my best to kind of consolidate our discussions. And there are days that I get up to the mic and I'm like, oh gosh, Lord, just give me what I'm supposed to say. Because there are times I just don't know what to say or I'm tired. Hey, I'm human. I'm, I'm working too. I, I have, yes, I do these podcast recordings. It is part of my life, but I also have other parts of my life. And when you've been doing this for so long and it's a daily podcast, People ask me, one of the main questions is, how do you find something to talk about all the time? This is one of those episodes. And when I started thinking about the confession going, gosh, why aren't you looking at me? What am I going to say? I'm like, Lord, you got to take this one. You got to take this one. God makes time for conversations with you. And he's looking at you eye to eye, eyes wide open, you Oh, your family, your loved ones, your best friends, the courtesy of what God gives you. It's respect. Stop hiding. Stop being fearful. Remove those layers. Because whatever you're battling, and you may be battling something. Maybe you're battling a really bad marriage. And communication just really is no more. You're like, Christiane, if we try to talk, I'm just going to yell at him. I know. I get it. But you still have to be like Jesus. 
You've got to have conversations, eyes wide open. Don't hide everything. I mean, yes, it's got to be to the appropriate people, obviously. We don't need, I'm not saying for you to go on some national news program and just spill your guts. And that's not what I'm saying. That might be taking a lead too far. But what I am saying is God made you human. God gave you a heart, a mind, a body, and a soul. And those eyes, there's a connection there. And when you're missing that connection, you're missing the opportunity to live bolder, love deeper, and to impact greater. You were created on purpose for a purpose. You're adorable just as you are. Yeah, we're all diamonds in the rough. We all have to be stretched. But let God do the work in you and through you. And when you begin to open up your eyes and have conversations and look at people, smile, you better watch out because your world is going to change. I promise you it will be a game changer for the better. Go out and impact today. If you want help, click on the link, take aim. I would love to come beside you. When you click on that link, you are saying, I want to experience a complimentary coaching call. I want to know what it's like to work with you, Christiane. Click on that link. That will begin our conversation. I would love to come beside you. Because you know what? You were created on purpose for a purpose. You're just not to be this person who's going through the motions every single day. No, you were created to impact. God has got a plan much bigger than yours. Are you ready to live it out? Go out, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, love, and lots and lots of hugs. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.